This is Rami with MacStar Computers. Thank you for purchasing your MacBook, iMac, or Apple product from us. As we promised, we are going to start online classes for free. So this is video number one. Now let's get right into it. Now let's start with our environment here. Environment means the way it's laid out. We have our Apple menu up here, our desktop here, and our dock down here. Now our dock is going to use stuff, have stuff like your apps, uh, different utilities if you like. Now how do we, you can actually customize this. But before I get into that, let's start off with the Finder. The Finder, if you're a PC user, is also known as My Computer, which you can search anything on your hard drive through your My Computer app. You go to the C drive, you could go to the D drive. In this case, it's My Finder, and it's laid out really nice here. Uh, we'll get into some of these, but the most important ones, I can see all my applications, what's on my desktop documents. If I downloaded something and I can't find it, it's going to be right here. And we'll talk about these as well later, but it's basically how you want to organize it or sort them. Pretty simple, the layouts. And that is my finder. We'll get more into that in the future, but you got to know my finder. Second, the launch pad is only going to show your apps. If you have an iPhone, it's pretty much like your iPhone. I can click and hold down, remove stuff from here. I can even group stuff. If I drag it over another app, I can create a group. So if I have multiple apps, I can definitely group them. If I have a business one or a productivity one, editing one, you can choose. So this is basically the launch pad for a quick way to get to your apps. Another quick way is Siri, of course. Oh well. You can always ask Siri by pressing the Siri button if you have Sierra or higher. Another thing I want to show you about the dock is how to add or remove apps from your dock. So let's say I want this dictionary on my dock. I simply just drag it down let it go and bam it's there if I want to remove it I right click or two finger click options remove from dock and it's gone so this is your basic dock settings this is your trash can you can always uh, delete stuff by dragging them to your trash can here so your dock is there your trash can is on your dock, I mean. Another thing I would like to show you, let's say I open up Safari, I close it out, and I keep opening programs. Now, if you notice, there's a black dock underneath the apps, and that's that means they're still running in the background. And eventually, you can slow down your computer if you continue opening all these apps. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and right-click and click, and the black dot underneath the app disappear. And of course, the finder is always going to have a black dot under it. So don't worry about it. Can't quit that. There's nothing wrong with your computer. It's like that on all Macs. Now let's go to the second most important thing to me is the menu bar. First thing you want to do is set up your Wi-Fi so you could stream online. That's where the Wi-Fi is. If you do not have the Wi-Fi thing there, Go to System Preferences, click Network, Wi-Fi, and Turn On. Mine is already on, so it says Turn Off. Now, we'll be talking more about System Preferences and how you can customize your layout. But until then, that will be the next video. Let's wrap up this first video. Now, if you have a 27-inch iMac and you have all these apps open and you can't find where the mouse is, here's a tip. Just shake really fast. Well, it's a little bit harder on this, and the mouse will get bigger so you can see it and locate it, and then go small again. So that's how you can find your mouse. Also, I would like to show you one thing. 
two more things, which is pretty simple. Is People ask, well, how do I download my games? If you're not an Apple user, it's simple. Instead of uh, Play Store, which I believe Galaxy and Windows uses, it's simply the App Store. You can download free games, apps, video editing, music production apps, all kind of apps, even do your updates here. Do your updates there. That's the App Store. And last but not least, let's talk about the Notification Center. Here's where you'll, where you'll see all your calendar events. Stocks, if you have a big portfolio or want to get into stocks, you can keep up with your portfolio here. You can add your location to get latest weather updates. And of course, reminders. You can also set reminders or to-do list. And the... <clears throat> You know, surprisingly, your computer would actually alert you and remind you an hour before or however you set it <clears throat> to complete your reminder. And, of course, you have notifications. If you have an iPhone and you link the iCloud together, which I'll show you on the next video how to do that, you can actually get your messages, emails, uh, phone calls all on your computer, too, as well. All right, so that's the very, very basic of how the layout is set up. Our next video is going to be on how to customize this layout and set up the <clears throat> your computer through system preferences. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.